And it says we're live. Of course, that means it's Thursday night. I'm here. You're beautiful. It's time for GotBot Goes Live. I'm just going to set things up. I hope you guys are having a tremendous week. I think we're just coming off of, uh, of Thanksgiving week down in the U.S. For the rest of, of you guys, I hope that the week has been going wonderful. I'm sure it has for everyone. You know, we're, we're heading into the holiday season. December is here. Hopefully things are kind of picking up for you as well. I'm just getting stuff sorted away so that we can get going. We're going to have a bit of fun here tonight. We're going to cover the my thoughts about the... Let's see if we can... We're going to cover my thoughts about the kingdom uh, images that were shown this week. We're going to cover uh, my thoughts about the reissue headmasters. We're going to look at a couple of updates and a couple of things. And we're going to see a small package that I received thanks to Grimlock on. However, I do have my schedule left just over here. Because that's the sort of night it is. <laughs> I've been having a great week. It's been a busy, busy week, so I left my schedule over there. So happy tomorrow's Friday. By the way, tomorrow we have the countdown of the top 10 characters with a bird mode. It was a suggestion that was made just coming off of Turkey Day, heading toward our next Turkey Day. A lot of people have it Christmas Day. Um, some people have it New Year. Some people have it, you know, uh, Christmas Eve. But usually we're kind of like in a mode now between two Turkey Days. So it seemed fitting to talk about birds and Transformers. Uh, let's check in with you guys, see what you guys are saying. Hey, Sam, happy to see you here. Well, Luigi, happy to see you here. Uh, Maddie, happy to see you here. Do, 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 do. Bear with me a little bit here, guys. Um, oh, of course, Starscream Wife is here. The ever effervescent Starscream Wife. Hey, Samuel. Uh, highlight of your week, my man. If I bring a little joy to your week, then I am happy. Uh, Robert, happy to see you here. Eh, Merry Christmas to you too, buddy. Um, as we go up here. Hey, Grimlock Gun himself is here. We are definitely going to be talking about something I got from him this week. Uh, hey, Elixir. Any word on your cone heads? No. No word on the cone heads. No word on Prowler Ironhide. Um, I'm, on the December 9th or 10th, I'm supposed to have the Micron six pack. I'm definitely not going to get that. Uh, what else? My Rorichi has not shipped yet. Um, hmm. I got a couple of other pre orders in a DB games. Nothing there yet. Uh, uh, Netflix update. Nothing. Absolutely nothing has ever come to any of our Walmarts here at all for Wave 1 or 2. Uh, mm, can't agree, Gabriel. Gabriel says Ultra Magnus is great retool, must buy. I Easiest pass of my life, and I'll explain why when we get there. It's not for me. It's not that it's bad. If you like it, cool, but it's the easiest pass of my life. I'm really excited for Kingdom Air Razor. She's one of my faves from Beast Wars. One of my favorites, too, actually. But we'll talk about that in just a little bit when we get there. Hey, Dragonfly, happy to see you. Um, had their Nemesis. I have heard a couple of people have their Nemesis Prime canceled. Last I knew, Ages 3 and Up had two. I got mine from tftoys.ca. I think they got some. So... You might have to hunt for it a little bit, but he is around. I don't expect our Walmarts to get them at all. Like I said, we haven't gotten anything even from Wave 1, so I doubt we're going to get Wave 2. Um, what? Happy birthday, Blue, but your birthday's not today. Happy birthday, buddy. Can I do a Christmas-themed countdown? Uh, what would the theme be? That would be the question. What would the theme be? By the way, we do have a very Transformers Christmas that will be up and coming. I have to get it filmed. Of course, this one's going to focus on Jazz this year because, of course, Jazz is the Hallmark Keepsake Ornament. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the Stop Motions playlist, man. A very Transformers Christmas for the last few years is in there. So we have that coming up. But I'd be interested in a Christmas-themed countdown if you have a... 
uh, kind of a Christmas themed topic. Um, oh, it's tomorrow. Well, happy early birthday to you, Blue. Hope you have a great one, man. It's on Friday. Gonna be hard to have a bad birthday on a Friday. My trip yesterday. Uh, that and pizza. Um, your, thr your thrust pre order got canceled. Pfft, that stinks. Uh, it's, it's nice to be in a country where you have thrust and runabout. I, I've talked about it before. Here, Toys R Us has 900 ordered for the entire country of Canada, and nowhere apparently is carrying, at least not as of this record, well, this show, nobody is carrying runabout. I don't know if he's even going to be released anywhere outside of apparently Singapore and the U.S. I don't know. I have no idea. But I feel for you, Tommy. Sorry to hear that, man. You'd be happy to loan me your what, buddy? I'm sorry, Elixir. I'm really, I'd be happy to loan you mine. I don't know what you're talking about there. I missed something. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. That went way down there. Um, no clue. Just had the medics and Prowl and Iron High canceled. I've heard that people have had the medics canceled. I, I can't speak for dot com, but a little while ago, I actually put up a link and uh, in my Medics review, there's a link, I think, to the Medic set. Now, it's through Amazon.ca, but last I checked, they were actually in stock, not pre-order, in stock and shipping. So, I check it out, I guess, uh, as we go down here. Oh, Magnus. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Magnus. And like I said, I'll explain why when we get to it. Oh, his cone heads. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll, 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 man, I'll get the cone heads eventually. I, listen, either, either I'll get the cone heads or Hasbro is going to lose a sale. It's as simple as that. Um, this, is why, this is why I'm so happy when Starscream Wife is here because she helps kind of police this stuff a little bit for me. Uh, what is my side hustle? I don't know. What that, this? This is my side hustle? <laughs> I guess. I guess that's the best way to call it. They canceled my set and, my, and I pre-ordered them on... They won Luigi, uh, Waluigi this week. First delayed, then canceled. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of places doing a lot of pre-order cancels. Look, Hasbro tried to push too much production too fast. Factories couldn't keep up. They oversold, and now they look really bad, and it's looking bad on them, and it's frustrating fans, and fans are missing out on offerings that were all announced as you know big, huge reveals. Now it's too hard to get. And they're trying to rush too much into Kingdom. What they should have did is just adjust their production schedule. They didn't. They had to push it through, and now they're suffering for it and looking really bad because of it. Hey, Maximal 10. Um, well, but you could be making money now because if they do come back, it'll be for scalper prices. Um, no. See, here's the thing. People say it'll be for scalper prices. Amazon.ca has not had their corporate... Um, order filled like they went immediately from pre-order to sold out there was no in stock there was nothing it was pre-order and then the day of it was just so nobody in canada has gotten their cone head yet no one amazon.ca has not shipped out they have not had their corporate order filled from hasbro it wasn't bots it was hasbro not filling the order now in the u.s possibly scalpers will be the ones that bring it back but I guess we'll see as time goes on. I really don't know. But I could certainly believe it, and that would be a shame. Um, I had you for math, math. Oh, yeah, look at that. I did have you for math today. Learn your math. Uh, hey, Thatcher. Uh, hey, Jillian. I hate Amazon. A lot of people are getting mad at Amazon. And I get it. I agree. Get mad at Amazon because they oversold. But I think part of it, I think a lot of the blame has to go on Hasbro. They're the producer. They're the ones who have to make sure that the stock is there. And they haven't made sure the stock is there. Hate to say it. I want to see them do well. But I feel like that in 2020, they're making mistake after mistake after mistake. Man, say what you want about it. Uh, besides, if anything, I'd be willing. Uh, what? I'd still love for you to review mine, if anything, so I can be proud of. So, Elixir, you have a lot to be proud for, buddy. You have a lot to be proud for. Uh, okay, so how about we get into the news and get that out of the way first. Remember, we have kind of a couple of updates, a little package there. And, of course, we have our trivia in just a little bit. So first things first, Roundabout is out in the U.S. I really, really, but. 
Oh, yeah, my opening. Of course, I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe while you're at it. Light them up, baby, and hit the notification bell. That was kind of sad, though. It helps me out a ton. It lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, Transformers, Collectors, NL, The Autobot Family, Transformers versus G.I. Joe versus DC Universe versus Marvel, and Autobot City Central. And all of my social media links. That mouthful, all those links in the description below. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. You can check us out on Patreon. You can see what we offer to you through Teespring, especially now with the holidays upon us. And of course, you can hit the join button, become a channel member right here on YouTube. Now for the news. Runabouts out in the U.S., not here. Man, I, I have run amok. I so want, need a runabout. That one is the one that has a little more nostalgia for me personally because I had run about as a lad. So really, really, really would like to get that guy thrust as well. Um, like I've said before, I have heard absolutely nothing saying that um, we are getting run about here in Canada. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to check in with you guys here real quickly. Um, I got a few in there tonight. Hey. Um, Hey, Panda Master. Panda Master, that's cool. Um, Sanjana. Uh, hey, Alan. Hey, Thatcher. Uh, you're down here. Um, I appreciate that elixir. Lixer said if he sees running back, he'll pick one up. I appreciate that. Uh, you won't see Thrust until late December. I've heard that too, Maximal 10, but that still doesn't help with runabout. Um, I want to get, see, I, that's the thing. It's nice to get run amok and run about together, but like it's not possible here because I don't know if we're getting the second lad. Uh, hey, Kato, happy to see you. Uh, guys, by the way, the Rejecticons had a little mail call earlier, a little live show. Go back when this is over and check out that and see what they were talking about. Some fun stuff there, especially about Thundercats. Uh, is it just me or is it possible the Hasbro to repaint, remold Air Razor into, ooh, into Beast Wars Silverbolt? They could. Um, hey, Mike, happy to see you. Something funny that happened recently. Ordered a Power of the Primes tailgate ages ago and then, What? The day came, okay, I found a Make Toys uh, rear end for a pretty good deal online. Okay, Tailgate's one of my top faves. More Tailgate, more love, I guess. Uh, as we go down here, okay. Yeah, I've heard that Target has thrust them back order Grimlock on. Uh, so, Super 7 on Black Friday, they had a, a couple of exclusives. They had... A version of Stepper, which of course was basically a black repaint of Jazz. They had Magnificus, which is basically Perceptor in black and a Decepticon. They had uh, Gun Robo done in black. It's a Megatron done in black. And they had Sound Blaster, a black repaint, of course, of Sound Wave. Why did they do all of that? Black Friday. So if you were in on it, you were in on it. Magic Square showed off their Shockwave renders. Looks beautiful. We also saw, however, New Age had renders of their Shockwave. By the way, I know that each also has a Legends Megatron, but there's been a lot of scuttlebutt recently about the design from the uh, Devastation the kind of modeling, and I've seen it talked about. A Legends done of that tank not so much like the core one, which we'll talk about in a bit, but a Legends done of that tank design for a Legends collector might be cool for those that are okay with their Megatron not turning into, you know, a, 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 a gun. Uh, having the tank mode, like from Devastation, that could make a nice Legends figure. And I feel like Magic Square or New Age would be great ones to do it because they do great work. Just look at the Shockwave renders. Both look great. Of course, these are, these are just renders. Word is that the New Age has zero parts forming. I, I'll be interest, interested to see how that works out. We have new listings of the Headmasters, but we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. I'll come back to that, I think. What else do we have here? Um, TFC showed off their Ripper Snapper. The next in line for Satan, and Satan is going to be their version of Abominus. Looks good, highly stylized for, especially for like a weird shark 
land walking shark with arms and legs thing. But I feel like there's a lot more gray or white here, like a lot more. But it looks great if you're into it. The We have a couple of new listings. Netflix Battlefield Optimus Primal. I assume it's going to be the upcoming Kingdom Optimus Primal with some different paint decos, probably some sort of battle damage or something on it. As well as, interestingly, and your guess is as good as mine on this, a Battlefield Seeker. I don't know who or what it could be. I assume it's going to be some sort of a repaint of the Earthrise Seekers. I don't know. I really don't know. But eh, eh, eh. speaking of Optimus Primal, he is also getting an offering in the red line, as is a redeco of Megatron. I would presume some sort of a G2 thing. I don't know. I'm I'm only iffy on the red line, to be honest with you. And like a G, a red G2 Megatron, uh, it's not for me. As a matter of fact, a G2 Megatron for me would very quickly just get renamed. It wouldn't be a Megatron. It would very quickly just get renamed into uh, Megastorm. Uh, you know, Beast Wars 2 Megastorm. Uh, what else do we have here? Black Roll Ricci has been found at EB Games. Mine is on uh, a pre-order, so I got to wait for it to come. That being said, I did pick up another Fast Track, and I'm going to have two Fast Tracks be the Guard Benders. Uh, sorry, Guard Minders, and uh, Black Royal Ricci will be kind of the leader of them, just like it was in Master Force, I think. I think that's where, what it was in. Uh, Shockwave Labs has a little set coming out that has a version of the All Spark, as well as a grenade and a rifle, all, and the rifle was used by Mirage, I think, all from the Siege series. We saw Toy World show off a World War II cliff jumper. It's basically a reuse of the Bumblebee. This one comes with a cool helmet. It comes with a medieval helmet as well as a lance and a shield. The paint is gorgeous. The detailing, the molding and detailing is gorgeous. We've seen reviews of the Bumblebee. If you like them, cool. If you don't like them, then I guess that cliff jumper won't be for you. But I think it looks great. Uh, it's Let's see. Well, uh, Iron Factory showed off their Transmetal 2 Cryotech. I got to be honest, man. I don't even remember Cryotech. He looks super duper cool, but I don't know the character. I don't know if it was if it was in comics or what. I don't know the guy. Uh, by the way, I want to give a shout out here to friend to many people here. Master Fire. A while ago, he did a custom version of Sure Shot. The Autobot Target Master, and he really used as his base the Siege, like Tiger Track, sound, uh, Side Swipe, Red Alert. Specifically, he used Tiger Track, I think, with the arms of uh, Side Swipe. But he has had a hand in the, 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 mm, in the design of a replacement head available on Shapeways that you could get that uh, fits on the Tiger Track, say, mold. And you can have a sure shot. Honestly, I think it's quite a nice idea. I really do. Uh, I want to give support to it. I, if I had or if I get an extra Tiger Track, I might just be prone to pick that, that head up. It's a nice design. And it'd be nice to have the other Autobot Target Master since we have crosshairs. So nice little shout out to him. What else? Uh, Hasbro is doing their holiday giveaways, Toys for Tots in the U.S., there's also something being done by Hasbro Canada. I think it's wonderful that they do this, that especially this year where you give toys to basically underprivileged kids. I think that's wonderful. However, you do have to get your business house in order. Your kind of social consciousness house is in good order. You've got to get your business house in order. Bad bit of news on the business front. We know that the deluxes are going up here in Canada to $32.99. I have some more bad news. The Voyagers are, in fact, undergoing a price hike as well, starting with selects. There are selects listings in Canada for $49.99. 50 bucks for a uh, Voyager. 50 bucks for a Voyager. I would suggest, if you live in the States, because you're probably wondering, okay, 50 Canadian, what's that in the U.S.? I would suggest to you gear up for 34 to $39. U.S. for a Voyager. It's coming up sooner than you think. Um, I hate to say it, but I, man, I see it coming. I hate to say it, but I see it coming. Uh, we have a couple of big pieces of news left in terms of kind of discussion points, but let's just check in with you guys. What? Sandra requested a shout out to his friend Reagan. 
who apparently is a big fan of yours. Well, you know what, Thatcher, for you, big shout out to Reagan. I appreciate all the support all the time. I hope that you are having a fantastic Thursday going into the weekend. I hope Reagan is having a fantastic Thursday going into the weekend and going into the holiday season. Uh, let's see. Let's just go up here a bit. I know I missed a whole bunch, guys. Um, let's see. Thunder, thunder, thundercats. Yeah. Um, hey, Ninja Bill. Happy to see you in here, buddy. Things are going good for me, man. Things are going pretty good for us right now. Uh, Iron Factory's Megatron is amazing, KO. I totally agree with you. I thought Starscream was going to be see-through plastic as a ghost. Not the core one. Um, yeah, stoked for TFC, Ripper Snapper. Honestly, Kato, like it's stylized. And it might be a touch too much. I'm not even going to say gray, white. But he looks phenomenal. I think that that combiner is going to be amazing when it's all said and done. Uh, what have you missed so far? Mostly you've missed kind of the preliminary news, Ninja Bill. Is Satan big or like combiner works? I think he's bigger. Uh, if you... Saw the other TFC combiners, you have an idea. They are definitely bigger. Um, uh, let's see. As we go down here. Um, and I'm, I'm glossing over some of the stuff right now, guys. So, like, bear with me a little bit. Uh, yeah, Ninja Bill pick, or, yeah, Ninja Bill picked up the new... Alita one from uh, from the Netflix series. Uh, look, if you like that RC mold, I, this is a nice use of it. It definitely seems like it has more paint. I think Cato mentioned it as a matter of fact that it certainly seems like it has more paint. So I don't know. I maybe I guess it does. Um, I need your clothes, your boots, and your ratchet. I need your clothes, your boots, and your ratchet too back. I think that they're still in on Amazon.ca, guys. That's the best I can do for you, man. That's the best I can do for you. Uh, as we go down here. Yeah, look up. That's right. Kato just said it there. The TFC Cons. That's right. Abominus will be the same sort of thing. Absolutely. Um. Hmm. Gonna price me out of collecting. It's gonna price a lot of people out of collecting as much as I hate to say it. Have you listened to music by BTS? I don't think so. It doesn't sound familiar to me, Robert. I don't know if I'd say they're one of the most generous companies out there, Kato. I think that's being generous, buddy. But I do I do totally support them doing this, 100%. Especially this year, above all others. That comes out to 38.85 uh, USD. I would suggest to you then 34. I think that you guys will get it even a little lower. But I'd say you can gear up for Voyager's probably within the next year to be 34.99 i hate to say it i really do um go down here inferno and huffer look great yeah we're about to talk about all of that actually i didn't get much of a haul robert it's not really a haul it'll be interesting you'll see you'll see it's not really a haul though Alita or be I haven't found I haven't found Netflix Alita or be I haven't found Netflix anything. We need Silverhawks. Uh, actually, Cato and the boys were talking about it earlier. I believe that Silverhawks is coming up as a, a Super Seven license. I think that Cato could probably confirm that, but I think they're coming up as a Super Seven license. So if you like Super Seven, Silverhawks apparently is coming there. Uh, Alita for a hundred. What? That's crazy. Okay, so I guess first things first, let's let's talk about the kingdom pictures. Okay, let's talk about the kingdom pictures. So we saw a picture of Air Razor. Gorgeous, looks beautiful. The only Air Razor I have is a KO Air Razor that I got for $3 from Dollarama. Uh, 
like a deluxe-ish KO. I'm 100% in on the new Air Razor. She's beautiful. We saw Dinobot. The molding is stupendous on Dinobot. He looks so good. So, so good. Then we saw Magnus. And I had high hopes for Magnus. I think the robot mode looks fine. But I do feel like the blue head, like the bigger robot head, I feel like it looks too big or the crest on it looks too big or something looks too big about the head to me. I don't like the fact he has gray biceps. They're supposed to be white. And the truck mode is not G1 accurate. And to me, I, I know some people will say, yes, but this is Earthrise. Uh, look, let's be realistic. It's G1 revision. Okay, it's G1. And I think that his G1 truck mode is so iconic that stylizing it just doesn't work for me. I'm not going to say he's bad. The Siege was good. I think the Earthrise will still be great. Fantastic, actually. But it's not the Magnus for me. I think my Combiner Wars with the perfect effect upgrade, and if I could ever get an X2 um, Toys upgrade kit for the ankles, if I could ever get that, I never see it anywhere. But if I could ever get the X, I think it's X2 Toys, I think it's XT009, I think. If I could get that, that Magnus, the Combiner Wars Magnus would be perfect for me. Not for everyone. Am I going to say, like, don't get the Earthrise? No. No, there's a definite argument for getting it. It's just, uh, I was disappointed. I thought I might replace my Magnus. I don't see it happening now. But that's just me. It's not bad. It's just not for me. Uh, Inferno, love it. In for it. I adore Grapple. I don't know why he's a shelf warmer. He's great. If you don't have him, he's tremendous. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, as we go down here, Core Starscream. You know what? For a Legend Starscream, it's pretty good. His uh, his waist is gray. I think that should have been red, but eh, whatever. I think it's a good Starscream. The plane mode, it definitely has a lot of chunky bot underneath, and the arms don't even try to hide. Like the wings are just over them, and the arms don't even don't even make an attempt to hide. The Megatron. I like the look of it. I like the color of it, but. The way the tank hangs off the back and around the shoulders is rough, man. Real, real rough. Now, some people have said it's mistransformed. Maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll see how it turns out. A kingdom for Nemesis Prime. Dude, Dragonfly, I sent you a message saying that there was two, buddy. I sent you a message about it a couple of days ago. But I, I, I hear you, though, man. I hear you. I hate when stuff like that happens. Uh, yeah, see, rumor has it that Super 7 is working on Silverhawks after Thundercast. There you go. That's what I was thinking. Do you, do I like MDJH? Absolutely. One of my favorite places, buddy. Um, I shouldn't even, I shouldn't say buddy. Uh, as we go down here, should be a little more respectful than that. I think Dinobot's robot mode looks good, but I don't like the Raptor mode. I can get behind that, Jillian. The Raptor mode, you could definitely see some robot parts. Maybe too many robot parts. And I think the little Raptor arms are going to be soft, rubbery plastic. I don't think Dinobot's going to be perfect, but I think that he is going to have a real presence on the shelf. Uh, hey, Stop Motion re Reviewer. For me, it isn't about G1 accuracy. It's about any form of quality. I can see that, but for me, it's about quality and G1 accuracy. So, to each their own. That's why I said, like, I'm not going to say don't get it, but it's not for me. Um, a lot of people have had them canceled. Yeah, they have. So far, I like the Alita one. So there you go. Ninja Bill likes Alita one. I had a funny feeling he would. Magnus looks just like I thought. Uh, I've seen a lot of plane, but I was going to be. Yeah, I know it was going to be a remold of Siege, but I was hoping that they were going to tra change the back trailer a little bit more to make it a little more G1-ish. Like, I think the front is fine. But I wish that the back trailer was a done a little bit better. That's all. That's all. Uh, oh, any news on the Earthrise Ratch from Takara? Word is that will be in April, D.W. Brown. That's the rumor that I've heard is that Ratchet will come around April or May. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be doing the TikTok thing. I do have a, guy, a buddy, though, from New Zealand, and he does it. And um, he does pretty good with it, actually. He does a lot of cooking on it, but, like, it's weird stuff that he cooks, man. Uh, do you ever like Siege? All um, I reviewed it. I liked it. It wasn't for me because I didn't like the alt mode. Same thing here. I, I like it. It's good, but I don't like the alt mode. I'm not... 
you got to understand like a liter here, $75 taxes in. I'm not spending $75 on something that's not accurate. I'm not doing it. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know anything about problem with iron high DW. I don't have mine yet, man. Um, have you ever seen the theft of the golden disc? It's a prequel short to beast wars made by pump up. I can guarantee you. I haven't. If it's a comic, I've not seen it. Um, I think Inferno looks better than Grapple. I think they look the same. One's orange, one's red, but whatever. Um, I like Huffer. I do like Huffer. So I'm going to kind of get back here to uh, the images. We saw Rack tonight. Rack tonight looks weird. Kind of like a bony version of Slag. And then when he transforms, he's so asymmetrical. Very weird, but I, if you're into skeleton transformers, then hey man, he's gonna be all 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 over for you. Uh, what else did we see? We saw. Doo -doo -doo. I thought that I had more written down there. We did see uh, Huffer as well. Huffer looks good. However, recent just before we went on air this afternoon, Takara released some images as well, and Huffer has. An enormous, gigantic backpack. Basically, the entire cab is on his back and not even condensed or compressed. I can live with it. I really can because I think the rest of them has done so well. He can even pull Earthrise Optimus' trailer. I love it. I'm, I'm looking forward to a pipes in it. I think that that's going to be tremendous. I'm with Brian. I really am. Hasbro has been acknowledged as one of the top 50 charitable companies over here since 2012. Don't care. Don't honestly, Cato, I don't care. Like, it's about their quality. They need to get their business house in order and they're not doing it. I don't care. It's nice that they do it. It's good PR, but that's all this is PR. At the end of the day, they need sales. At the end of the day, they need customers spending money on their products or all their charity doesn't matter. And right now, they're catering to one country globally and alienating six and a half billion people. If they keep doing it, they're going to go under. The day will come. Everybody tells me I'm crazy. You mark my words. If they don't change their ways, dark days are coming. And I stand by it. And sooner or later, when I say this stuff, man, I'm right. So I don't care what their PR says. I care about the product, getting a good quality product for a fair price. That's what I care about. And if they can't do it, I'll take my business elsewhere. It's as simple as that. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but they say speak with your wallet. I got to start doing it. 50 bucks for a Voyager? Get real. Get real. Uh, Huffer looks good, but I'm not a fan of his character. I can see that if you're not a fan of his character. I'm not getting TikTok. Uh, hey, Steve. Honestly, the MP Dinobot was rough. The MP Dinobot was rough in all modes and had a bunch of breakage. I am all about G1. Although I do like Beast Wars. Uh, to a limited degree. Um, oh man, Omnibots, Hollywood, Purgatory, man, I'm right there. Yes, Omnibots. Omnibots and Throttlebots I'd love. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to get the Beast Wars that I wasn't able to get back in the 90s. I think a lot of people are going to do that, J.A. I really do. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to replace a couple. I'm going to keep some that I got. Uh, if I can grab the box set, uh, uh, Ollie's, that's my Magnus. That's fair, too. That's fair, too, because that one is on pretty darn cheap. I uh, got one on pre-order from BBTS. I do like my G1 bots. And I, when they're not G1 accurate, I make them G1 accurate. Combiner Wars with Perfect Effect is own thing, but Kingdom 1 is very similar with MP Ultra Magnus. No, it's not. The Kingdom 1 is not remotely similar to MP Ultra Magnus. The alt mode is... 100% inaccurate. The Combiner Wars with the PE is closer to MP Ultra Magnus. That being said, neither one of them are close to MP Ultra Magnus. I, here's the thing. The Combiner Wars is good. The Siege is good. And the Earthrise is good. They're all great Ultra Magnuses. All of them are great. None of them are the perfect one yet. I see ways to improve on all of them. I don't think that, like, sometimes we get something and I say, man, I think this is the definitive version. I don't think we have a definitive Ultra Magnus yet. I really don't. Um, how does Hasbro keep making money when 40% of their figures are absolutely inaccessible? They make it because they're focusing on one country.
to the detriment of, any, of everything else. And even in that country now, they're starting to have problems. I see so many cancellations now daily from the U.S. And that was the only country they were catering to. Because I assure you, you ask Europe, they're not catering to Europe. I promise you, you ask Canada, they're not catering to Canada. They're catering to the U.S. and they're starting to have major problems there already. Tons of Amazon and Target and Walmart orders canceled. And you're telling me that that's each of those retailers' faults? Bull. It's the producer's fault. It's on them. And they're not learning the lesson. Uh how in 2020 do the designers blow so hard on Dinobot? I don't know. There's very little in Kingdom I'm looking to getting uh, with the recent price upgrades. That's the other thing I'm hearing. Like, it's great that we're getting these Beast Wars. They're coming at a terrible time because they're coming when we're getting more price increases. And I'm afraid that they're not going to get the love that they actually deserve because a lot of people are going to be priced out. A lot of people, sadly, are going to be priced out. That said, Walmart's here this past week, weirdly, Got a total restock of Wave 2, 3, and 4 Siege Deluxes and like tons of them for half price. So people got like an Iron Hide, a Siege Iron Hide for like 15 bucks Canadian. They got an Impactor for 15 bucks Canadian. They got Mirage for 15 bucks Canadian. Uh, people went nuts with that. I never saw them. They were, they were here. I just didn't, I just didn't get there in time. Um, hey Ryan. I love all the new releases, and I think Air Razor looks the best. I agree. I think Air Razor does look the best. Um, least amount of hollow showing. I agree with that, too. Worst still is that an AliExpress shipment is ordered is stuck in limbo. Yeah, I've heard about that. Don't understand why Canada gets such a raw deal. There's not even a large body of water separating us from the U.S. Because they can. Because people keep buying, and they suck it up. And they're like, it's all we can do. If people keep doing that, then they're going to keep taking advantage of you. Uh, let's see. I worry that the kingdom stuff is going to crash and burn. A lot of people are worried that the kingdom stuff is going to crash and burn. And that's why studio series is doing the 86 line because they know that their bread and butter is G1. So they'll do it with studio series. If kingdom's good enough, they'll do more beast wars. If kingdom crashes. Okay. Studio series saved their profits for 2021, I guess. Um, Don't order from AliExpress. I've never, I've never done that. Hey, Daniel. Not you anymore? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going down. Uh, Thatcher, did you move to Australia? I was lucky. Got runabout from Target. Congratulations, man. Yes. Wow. Wow. Summertime for you. Hey, Thatcher. It's summertime for you, buddy. Wow. Shorts and warm weather. Um, I don't know. I, I am I a fun teacher. <laughs> Depends on who you ask and the day you ask them. Depends on who you ask and the day you ask them. Uh, got Netflix sound wave today. You know what? Honestly, Paul, like he looks great. I'm, I'm cool with my siege, but honestly, nothing wrong with that Netflix one. I think the laser beak and the ravage look phenomenal. Okay. So we went through all that. The only other piece of news that we have here relates to this guy. Well, kind of, this is the Titans return version of mind wipe. We have a reissue coming out, or they're calling it a reissue. It's really more like the Takara mold. So what's different? What is different? First, it's not the same paint as the Takara. This is different paint yet again. This guy, I like. A lot of people don't. They, I think that Mind Wipe gets a raw deal. But I like him. The new one is going to have purple biceps, or sorry, purple forearms and biceps. Um, he's going to have black kind of elbows and hands. Inside the wings of this guy in bat mode are purple. The inside of the wings will be more of like a blood red. And it's a different head, well, a different face on the head sculpt. It is the Takara face. So I think the reissue is definitely a bit better. I don't, I'm not going in for it because I'm fine with this guy the way he is. But the reissue is definitely going to be a little bit different and definitely going to look better. If you didn't get mind wiped, this will be your chance to do it. I suggest you do it. Then... We also have 
Chrome Dome. The head on the new Chrome Dome will basically be this color of like gray. It's very bright, almost uh, white-ish color. The head, however, will be the G1 Accurate Takara head. It is the only version where the thighs are a tan color as well as the lower legs. The thighs and the lower legs, or at least the shins and front, should be brown like Takara. Um, the silver detailing and red detailing on the chest of the reissue is a bit different, and the entire arm will be a solid tan. The tan is a darker tan than on here. Again, I think Chrome Dome is great. If you didn't get the Titans Return or the Legends, I still think the Legends is the best, but if you didn't get either of them, definitely get the new one coming out. It is a great headmaster. Then we have... Uh, this guy, Hardhead, and there's more detailing of silver and red on the side of the arms of Hardhead, and down here on the legs, it looks better in tank mode. The canopy here in tank mode actually has green on the top, green paint on the top. The head sculpt on the reissue is going to be different with, ac with an actual face. I like that better than this head sculpt. It's the one that I'm actually considering replacing this guy with um there's a different tan this is more like a sandy gray color it's going to be more of a tan color closer to the takara but not the same thing uh, i dig this and i think it's a great hard head he's fun a very interesting transformation i think the reissue is even better and last but not least i think the one that's going to be the most popular this guy, Brainstorm. Why do I think he's going to be the most popular? Brainstorm was released in Japan with his Headmaster's colors, where he had a lot of white, and then this tealy green color was like a blue. This was released as a Walgreens exclusive in the United States, and that's it. It never did come to Canada. I don't think it came to Europe. This guy was extremely, extremely, extremely limited. A lot of people that did get the Headmasters did not get any version of Brainstorm. Now, the new one that's coming out has kind of dark gray thighs and has more gray, a dark gray on the arms and less sticker detailing up on the wings. It seems to be extremely IDW inspired. The head is, again, the Takara head, which I think is more accurate than this one. It has a face instead of a faceplate. I like the faceplate. But there's an argument to be made for the actual face. I'm not going to replace this one because this reminds me of the one that I had as a lad when I was a kid. But if you did not get Brainstorm, get the reissue. I think the reissues are going to be great. We also have new listings for reissues. We know that Highbrow, which rounds out the four Autobots, is coming. We know that Weird Wolf is coming. Hopefully they fixed the issue, the like breakage issue that people experienced. And we know that Skull Cruncher is coming again. I hope that the soft rubber plastic that was used on his back flap is replaced with the hard uh, plastic that was used on the version from Japan that made the flap easier to open and close on his back when you wanted to store the Headmaster unit. I think the reissues are tremendous. The coloring is better. The packaging is better. I think they're great. I really, really do. Uh, and I think that's it for the news. Woo! Took us a while to get through it, but we're almost done. Just a couple of quick updates here. Very quick updates. I want to do trivia. We're going to do it in a second. First, I took this guy out. This is the Make Toys Chaos Paladin. I, I love the robustness of the plastic. This is a wonderful fallen. Razor Bear provided this to me. I love this. The articulation could be slightly better, but what presence and stature. I love it, and I love the alt modes. I plan to re-envision and customize the movie Fallen into Amalgamous Prime. I have something in the works to improve my Nexus Prime to a different sort of Nexus Prime. Still needs a bit of custom work. I have an idea for Onyx. Um... That might be it. Uh, and I need an idea for the Liege Maximum. I'm thinking, see what you guys think. I'm thinking for the Liege Maximum. I can't believe I'm going to say this. But I'm thinking maybe the Age of Extinction crosshairs with a stylized head. I feel like that looks a lot like the Liege Maximo. What do you guys think? Trivia. I'm going to check in with the comments. And then we're going to do trivia because Starscream Wife yelled at me to do trivia. 
uh, as we go up here. Let's see. And I know I missed some stuff here, man. Um, <laughs> that's cute. Netflix wave two is starting to hit. You'll find them. No, Netflix wave one has not even hit here. Not going to find it here. No, that's that's adorable, though. I like when people say that stuff. Um, I got to, man, I got to go way up here. Uh, hold on. Um, I've had him a few times. He's sick. Thanks, Liam. I appreciate it, buddy. Hey, Aries. Really hard to customize animals, so I'm not that crazy about kingdom. That's fair. Uh, what? I broke your speaker? How did I break your speaker, Jake? Um, some guy. Some guy. Some guy. Uh, let's see. It's gotten worse the last few weeks. I had two other AliExpress. I've heard that there's a lot of problems with AliExpress orders. I've never used them, so I don't know. I hope your medic uh, two pack doesn't get canceled either, Paul. Tech is absolutely not my forte. Not even a little bit. Um, I'm in for mind wipe. Yeah. Because when you were trying to make it louder, it ended up breaking completely. I don't remember that. I told him to cut you some slack. I don't remember that, man. Like you and Tech don't work well. No, I don't remember that. Like, I'm not... I'm, I, I'm sure it happened if you remember it. I don't remember it, though. Next week, I'll order God Neptune. Uh, look, still waiting for him. Um, Crimson Raptors has helped me with that, but I'm still waiting for him. Uh, we're down here. I went through hell to get the seven headmasters from Titans Return. Yeah, you know what? So did I, man. Honestly, especially that brainstorm. I was lucky. I got them from BBTS. By the way, uh, I'm working with, kind of, uh, with BBTS now uh, as an affiliate. Everything this past week, Nemesis Prime, uh, Sunstreaker, Trailbreaker, all of them have links to BBTS where you can check it out and get yours there. Um, let's see. Super toys and all the time. Um, so I'm going down here because he was really hard to find. I have never seen brainstorm. I've never seen brainstorm on a shelf, right? I think brainstorm is going to be the sleeper hit of these reissues because he was so hard to find. Um, Oh, Crimson, look at that, man. Look at that, man. I was just talking about Crimson. Um, let's see. God, Neptune may end up being next year at this point. Ugh, we were supposed to have him by Halloween. We were supposed to have Look. Here's the thing. Patience, man, is a virtue, Crimson. If he doesn't come until 2021, fine. As long as he arrives. That being said, I still need a Centurion pack because that thing got canceled on me. It's like too many hoops, man. I'd love a Centurion pack. I'd love a runabout. I'd love a thrust. I want my God Neptune. But I feel like I have to rely on other people. And I'm thankful that I have a community of people that, you know, tends to help. But I feel like I have to rely on other people to get this stuff. Um, hey, Jacob. I appreciate that, man. Um, and I know I'm missing. Uh, oh, hey, from Calgary. Look at that. Thanks, man. All the way from Calgary. I meant, Oh, I meant in the U.S. Okay, yeah, yeah. Guys, I know I'm missing some of the comments, and I apologize, but I, I, I'm trying to keep it somewhat timely. A truly fallen figure. Now you need... Fiery flames uh, for that dream wave. I agree, Crimson. Actually, I think I think that that would look beautiful. Um, which, by the way, Flame Toys, pardon the pun, and their fallen does have the flame effects. And it looks glorious. Okay, so the only other update, and I'm gonna I, I'm gonna give this now. No trivia. I, I have to give this one now. Coming up this week, I'm going to be reviewing Runamuck. Now, 
In the review, I talk about how mine has a major problem with the head not moving. And it, that's true. And everything I say about it is true. And I did fix it with something. You'll see when the time comes. However, I did have the opportunity to actually do an exchange. So I did an exchange. And now the head works the way it's supposed to. Um, I, I would have kept, if I couldn't, if I didn't see another on the shelf, I would have kept the one I had and the head worked okay. But now that I see the way the head's supposed to work, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's much better. That's much better than what I had. Okay. The trivia, jeez, trivia. Yay! Okay. Of course, trivia provided by, uh, Dragonfly, always oh, provided by Dragonfly. Wasn't Centurion Pack going to be released at a higher price point? N not internationally. It's not available outside of the United States. And I've heard now that to get it, you have to uh, be a Hasbro Pulse Premium or something member. Uh, is TF Toys worth checking out? Listen, man, I buy stuff from TF Toys all the time. I love them. I really do. Uh, anyway, trivia. Dinobot Island. In the episode, the two-part episode, Dinobot Island, which Dinobot saw the Decepticons arriving first and let the others know? Was it the Triceratops Slag? Was it the Brontosaurus Sludge? Was it the Tyrannosaurus Rex, known as Grimlock? Was it the Pteranodon Swoop? Or was it Snarl? Snarl the Stegosaurus. So was it Slag, Sludge, Grimlock, Swoop or Snarl? A, B, C, D, or E? Which is it? Slag, sla Swoop, T-Rex, T-Rex, T-Rex. A lot of people saying T-Rex, Swoop, Slag. Uh, hold on, hold on, I'm thinking. Snarl, Grimlock, Slag. I don't know. Thatcher, it was Thatcher. Slag and the uh, Crimson says Grimlock Slag and Sludge. And the correct answer is Swoop. Swoop saw them first. I guess flying overhead. Swoop saw them first. Crimson says in that order. Apparently not, Crimson. Like, I don't come up with these. If you got a beef with the answer, bring it up with Dragonfly. He's the guy who does the trivia for us. But apparently it's Swoop. Uh, I like that Kato says he was right. Kato always guessed C. And uh, this time he actually got one right. Congratulations, Kato. Round of applause, buddy. Uh, I never met with Daniel. I meant Swoop. I meant Swoop. Okay. So I got this package. It's from Grimlock On. And in it, first and foremost, we had uh, nine Energon Cubes. And, like, that's cool. Like, Energon Cubes are cool. They always go good for... Um, they always go good for stop motion. So Energon Cubes never go astray. I have a few of them now, and they're definitely useful for stop motion. But that's not the kind of important thing that was in there. As I move some of this aside, I'll put this stuff away tomorrow, I think. Uh, I need this. And I need uh, this. So that in there. So last week I pointed out to a lot of people how I had finally, uh, thanks to Grimlock On, received the orange BFG for Titan Class uh, Scorponok. And this is 3D printed. I'm sure that if you get in touch with Grimlock On, he can probably like let you know, like I think he designed this, like let you know how to get it and whatnot. Like it's impressive. Now, of course, there's a gray piece that goes on this, and it goes on this side, which is the hollow side from the printing. And I had this piece last week. Now, one of the pegs, specifically this peg, broke off, and I fixed it with uh, Gorilla Glue, actually. And now I can take this one piece, and it can, of course, fit. It fits into this hole up here and this one down here on the handle. And when you have it out in... Um, say city mode, this can go mounted as a building and this goes mounted as a building. We will see more of this in episode 800, I'm thinking, of True Review 800. But 
He also sent me the option of having it in two pieces. Now, why would he do that? Word is from him that having it in two separate pieces helps with the stability of the two pegs. So, this can be in two pieces or one piece. And apparently the blaster can be in one piece or two pieces. Apparently the two pieces are a little more stable. So he sent me that. Like I said, we're going to look at that, see how it incorporates in all modes up and coming. But the thing that he sent me, so simple, but I love it because it makes all the difference in the world. And again, this will go with, actually, I'm going to use this with Black or Reach when he comes, but I'm going to show it now. This is the Tyrant Spear. Now, everybody knows with the two arms, we have the problem of the elbows. And... You know, we have the whole, oh, no, it bends over. But look, even, okay, so it bends right there, granted, but you can adjust that elbow. But basically, when I turn it like that, now nothing, nothing. It's staying up solid, not bending over, not bending over, all because of this one piece right here. There are two uh, five-millimeter pegs up here that peg into the two peg holes on the arm. And down here, there's a five millimeter hole that goes over the peg on the shoulder. The nicest part about this, besides for making the tyrant spare solid, is that in robot mode, this can fold up and just peg on behind his arm. It's one little piece. They're so much more solid and can be incorporated in robot mode. Buy in tank mode. I will show all of that in when we look at how all of this is to enhance Scorponok. And all of it should be accessible because all of it is just 3D printed. So going back up here, now checking in here a little bit with you guys. Um, let's see. As we go down here. But I thought me swoop no see nothing. Um, yeah, the cubes are good. Kay was right 100% of the time, 70% of the time. Crimson is correct. Uh, make sure it's tftoys.ca and not the other one. Absolutely. Um, do it down here. Uh, no, nah, I don't know how to use Gorilla Glue properly. It made a big old mess. It was, it was brutal. But you know what? The peg is solid and still works. So that's all that matters. It don't have to look good. Uh, I want a BFG for my score, but I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, like, it's it's doable. It's possible. Um, how do you become a moderator? I would have to do that, and I ain't doing that, Jacob. Uh, <laughs> Optimus Prime is a Gorilla Glue sponsor. That'd be great. Um, let's see. it down here. I was very impressed with that. It's a simple little piece, but it makes all the difference in the world for solidity, which will help with stop motion, which will help with display. Uh, hey, Iron High Productions. I love you too, Jacob. And on that note, I think we're done. It's been a great night. It's been a great show. Wonderful Thursday. Guys, I'm getting out of here. I got some things to do, and the night is getting away. Tomorrow's Friday. Friday. Heading into the weekend, I appreciate you coming by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. You can check us out on Patreon. You can see what we offer to you through Teespring. Or, of course, you can hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a channel member. Hopefully next week, we'll have some new stuff in. I don't know. We shall see. Don't forget that somehow, someway, each and every single day, man, you do make a difference. And I look forward, baby, to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams at the stop motion premieres or the old-fashioned way. Don't forget, tomorrow, top 10 Transformers with bird modes. I know, it's a weird topic. But the old-fashioned way, right here for another visit inside the videos.